Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Timberborn. So we've played forward a little bit. I've built a few extra things. We have another smelter, another explosives factory, and we also have a centrifuge or extract because we need different sized dynamites. Um, for the power, we built these few pretty shitty batteries. Well, they're not shitty. We have dynamited all the way to the bottom, but the maximum is 24,000 HPH as opposed to the 62,000 maximum. So we probably can go up two or three times higher than they are now. And then we'll have more power stored. So what I've discovered though is when the water is flowing slowly because we block this off, um, we put this engine on running which provides 400 HPH and it's not enough power for the day even with these things turning very slowly. But what happens is these batteries take up some of the slack and then in the evenings if we leave this running, which it kind of does on its own, and the wheel's going a little bit, the batteries charge up. They don't charge up fully, but it's just about enough to keep industry going for about 10 to 20 days. So yeah, it's, it's working well. Life's going good for our beavers. The other thing we have sorted now is our water. So these can go down six, but I can only go down five here because we reached the bottom essentially. If I try and put a dynamite on the bottom, cannot be built at the bottom of the map. Ideally we would have gone down one more, but it's not the end of the world really. Five, that's good. That's plenty of water for us to be sucking out. Um, what else have we done? Built a bridge across here. And yeah, I think that's it. We did dynamite down to the bottom first because we are going to be dynamiting all the way. Oh wow, we've almost finished. We only have one row left. Um, we've also put all these plump plumps, uh, these pumps on platforms, not these yet, and then dynamited away the land so we have more water stored. We have a couple of uh, stream gauges. We have this one at the top. And then when it goes below a certain level, this one can take over. Um, what are we on now? I think we're a 20 or 25 day drought. But we have the water sorted. Uh, we've also routed the power all around the back of these wheels. So everything is connected now. Um, how the battery's doing? We're on 15,000. Yeah, I think we may run out by the end. So what I'm going to do as well now is, hold on, sneezing coming, I'm going to pause the mic. Ugh, bastard. Um, what we are going to do now, let's just check that the mic is not paused. Where are we? Yep, we're recording. Good. We're not, we've not got silence. Um. Yeah, we're going to dynamite here. We're going to stick another one of these there so we have the power consistently. Essentially, we're just not getting enough metal. That's our main floor at the moment. Um, we do have two dynamite factories. We could possibly build another one. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is our food's kind of staying stable. I think we did build a couple of extra uh, farmhouses. Um, to try and get all our cassavas. But we're just staying stable. Um, we're not actually growing. I do have two extra uh, fermenters going. I think, I think, I think, I think. This land here, we're going to make into farmland. Maybe another forest as well. In fact, we could move things over here. Um, and then open this up more for industrial land or industrial usages what are you are you a two or a three two yeah that's right but yeah things are going well for our beavers all right let's put some music on there we go 
Yeah, what I want to do is give this hydroponic garden. Is this the one? No, not that one. Not that one. Or is it? Well, maybe it is this one. Don't know how this works. Never used it before. I don't know if you have to build it in water. Or whether it goes and collects the water itself. It probably goes and collects it. And then we have mushrooms. Oh, right, we can highlight these now. Mushrooms and algae. And I imagine under here, yeah, we have a mushroom thing. <coughs> so four mushrooms gives us 16 fermented mushrooms. And algae is probably going to be in the food factory. Yeah, algae plus canola oil gives us six whatever they are. For the moment, though, we're going to delve into mushrooms. I suppose we kind of need to dynamite this as well. It's not it's not an ideal shape, and it is in our way a bit if we want the vast open land. And then we need to go up here as well. So what do we need to go down? Let's measure it. So this is a three and you're a three as well. Alright, so this will be two lots of threes and this will just be threes. And you're going to be a two. You're going to be a two. Any other little nubbins like that? And you're just going to be ones. There we go. Well, maybe I can <clears throat> build this hydroponic or this whatever it is farm over here. Give it a little test out, find a square of four. Maybe here next to the water. And you can stack. All right, let's get rid of some berries. that'll do yeah I had to delete my barrels and rebuild some of them as well not the end of the world it's going okay I think we're just going to dynamite all this area down the bottom and around here as well and that'll be more than enough uh, water stored for well pretty much ever really hopefully let's get rid of these the idea is to have a clean line of roads, like so. And then everything this side of the road gets blown up. One of you medical beds. Um, we can reposition you. We can do some exploding. Not exploding. Deleting. There we go. So these are twos, I think. And this is a three. Yeah, okay. So twos and threes. Are we looking? We're looking good. The droughts don't matter so much. I mean, with this dam here, we've always got water. It's the bad tides when we won't be able to fill this up anymore. That's when it could possibly become a problem as the population grows a little. <laughs> right, how are our batteries looking? Yeah, yeah, we do need this. Okay, this is going to be done. So we hopefully go to power, engine. I don't know why it's... Okay, we need to go the other way. 
it's showing is yellow. Maybe it's because the road's not connected. And we have a bastard way of connecting it, don't we? We will tidy this area up eventually. At the moment, it's just... Uh, function over form. Form can come later on. How are we doing for metal blocks? Do we have 20? Nope, we have 15. Hmm. How about everything else? Logs, we're fine. Gears, I think we're fine. Yeah, we we got plenty of gears. In fact, let's pause the gear factory for a little bit. Um, let's make you guys high priority as well. Oh wow, dynamite's going down quickly. How much power are we uh, needing? Mm, we provide half. I mean, even with this, it won't be it's too far from... Okay, we need the staircase as well, don't we? Yeah, even with this, we're still going to be down on power. Only about 100 or 200. And then these batteries will charge up over the evening because they are bottomed out. Maybe I could build more batteries. I think that's the way with these guys. You just have to have a mixture of uh, water wheels and engines and then a really good battery system as well to cover. Because look, this is still going into the evening when the beavers aren't working and the power's not needed. So it kind of semi-charges this up. I think with another, batch, uh, another engine on the go, we should be good, but we'll see. Um, I am aiming for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80 beavers now we're aiming for. Or 96 if we can get 12 out of these barrels. Uh, right, we can build our hydroponic farm now as well. Or garden. Never used this before. One worker and we want mushrooms. And we'll change over one of our fermenters to fermenting mushrooms to... And I suppose to that effect, we should build another warehouse to store them. We should move into oil as well. Um, right, we're going to have another warehouse there. So what level do you need to be at? Is this just a one platform? It is... And we're going to need a one platform there. And this has to be a two. And that would have to be a two. And then we'd need a one to bring it down. There you go. Poop road. And this is going to be fermented mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms or algae. Maybe we'll move it over to algae. I don't know. I just gently need to try the different... The different kind of food ecosystems... Supply chains or whatever. Without starving my beavers to death along the way. Beavers will put up with a lot. No housing. No joy buildings or... Things like that, but no food. I don't think they stand for that, unfortunately. They're just a bit inconsiderate in that kind of way. Right. We have this done. Let's do threes. And then we have a nice piece of flat land that we can build on. We get to the end ones. We can. Beautiful. I suppose we could flatten over here and flatten over here. And we got mining there as well. So maybe we could put... Mm, I'd say put industry there. But our water wheels are best functioning over here. How the battery's looking. Not great. Hey, we got our engine going. Yes, we're 300 under. Um, HP per hour. How's water looking? It's going a bit low, so we can move this down to where we're at. 
We can move it down to two. And that will give us a bit of a fill up. There you go, everything you see covered by water now. That all needs to be dynamited down. Alright, we almost done. We are. Let's put it back up to 2.5. Hopefully, it's not flowing over there. It's not. It is actually worth us sticking a stick here, just for temporary measure, so we can see. And there you go, things are running well. Oh right, did the batteries go up? Yeah, 4,000. It's just become daytime, so I went up to 4,400. And then it will slowly go down. But the great thing is, at the moment, all buildings are getting full power, and they should be working at 100%. Uh, Still, the thing is, I don't understand this one. It needs power. Yet it uses wood to smelt the metal. What's it need power for? Right, you're not connected. Why are you not connected? You are connected. Oh yeah, you are. Okay, brilliant. And we're making mushrooms. 192 hours, that's quite a long time. I think we probably want to up the production here. So if we just have a rotation system. Uh, we're going to need to pull down some more plants. And we'll make these high priority. Not the actual gardens themselves. And then I don't know, maybe we'll just switch over to mushrooms if we have enough being made. We'll see. It's quite a good, easy building you can just circle with the road. Um, then one, 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 two. That's a three. Yeah, I mean, realistically, I've probably spannered it a bit with the barrels over there. I should have moved it across one so we could go all the way around. We can always go backwards somehow. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, you just want one around and then you can keep on... Fact, fuck it. Let's completely start this again. We might as well start off properly from the start. Otherwise, it's just going to annoy me. Uh, right, food. Not fermenter. Hydroponic garden. There you go. One all the way around. Should we go up four? Let's do that. Let's be cray cray. Uh, so, nope. Just the one, my friend. You need to go. Yeah, these berry bushes, they have kind of propagated on their own. And then we need ones around to here. And then this becomes a two. And then we need twos around to here. And this becomes a three. And if we put the stairs in, and some roads, wow, that's actually quite compact, but it does only make 40 mushrooms every 100 and whatever hours. Oh right, have we got another one that we need to do? No. So we've got one two 
three and then four. Okay, yep, fine, it's all sorted. Yay, our dynamite field's done. All right, let's get some level threes. We do this, and then this will just be our last row of water pumps. And that's kind of for emergency, so to speak. We turn them on when we just need to pump as much water and fill up these barrels as quickly as possible. I suppose I could have these two going too. We are eight beavers down though. And we're going to make this level of three high priority. How the batteries... They've actually gone up a bit more. I think this power thing is actually adding enough. So there you go. All power usage just stopped. These things are still going. They're providing a thousand. The batteries will just slowly creep up. Brilliant. Do these use metal? They do. Only five blocks we have enough to build for. If we uh, take the rubble on as well. Yeah, and this is a 25 day drought and we've not even lost water. We're doing fine. Things are going well. It's just the power, really. Well, it's up at 8,000 now. That's good. But as soon as the tide starts flowing, as soon as it's flowing over here, around here, and making these wheels go fast, it just pumps these right up to the top. So even though they may go down a bit each, each cycle of dry season, <laughs> or even bad water, because I don't let the bad water flow over here, um, they will be going up slowly. But we do need a better industry kind of structure. Maybe over here we fill in the land and have all our industry over here. How's our mushroom hut going? It's not. Our beavers are doing other things. have a little boom so yeah it's threes and twos to put our uh, water pumps on I mean we could if we really wanted Uh, just build uh, another wall around here and then, yeah, we could fill up the water even more. I don't think that's necessary. These pumps just go so deep. That's the one advantage or one of the advantages I can see over the folk tales. Um, yeah, the deepness of the pumps. Folk tales can only go down too, but this six is brilliant. I mean, once you get dynamiting and you're actually going down, that's so much water you can store in a uh, reservoir. The other advantage, hopefully, is these things, but we'll see how we get on. Um, how are we doing for food? 1.1. One. I think we should probably set up a storage for raw ones as well. Uh, large storage. And this can be the raw mushrooms. And then we'll just see how we get on with them. Uh, raw mushrooms are going to be up here. Yep. Good. I know you should, probably shouldn't eat uh, mushrooms raw, but... Fucking lovely if you peel the skin off. It's like a fleshy kind of... Uh... What are they? Well, they're a fungus, aren't they? They're not a vegetable. Generally best to cook them, though, because they do grow in shit. <laughs> I 
Why have you not been built? Too far from builders. Okay, that means we need a staircase down here. There we go, you will get built. Oh, bollocks. Asymmetry is going to annoy me now. Asymmetry? Lack of symmetry. We can fit in one more water pump, but it's not going to get to the end. Oh well, that can be used for medical beds. And we will have another platform going across here as well once we've dynamited our way through. Uh, these are probably low priority. There's no rush to do that. I want our mushroom farm running. What's wrong with you? Exhausted. We're only doing 16 hour days, come on. Oh hooray, it's finished. How are our batteries looking at the end? Oh, the batteries are actually going up. We do have two buildings paused though. Uh, the lumber mill, or industrial lumber mill as it's known, and the gear factory. Might as well have those going once the water is flowing. Fill up our reservoir first, and how are we looking here? Still got loads of water left for to use. Yep, we can reach all those. Yeah, I suppose we're actually caning our planks, building all these large warehouses. And this, not so much, but it does add up. Uh, it would be worth building another lumber mill, but we don't really have the population. Oh, fuck, maybe we should up the population too. Yeah, let's do that. Another breeding pod. Or... Another thing I haven't used, advanced breeding pod. Uh, we need treated planks. Alright, we're going to need that for mining as well, so that should be our next port of call. Let's just get in the power over this way somehow. Um. Hmm. This needs to go. I think that's the best way of doing it. Let's wait for the beavers to go down so they don't get stranded. Right, let's make you guys a priority. Not you. We have some planks there to take as well. Right, and fuck me, it's only just started flowing. But yeah, look at the power output with the wheels going. And we can build more wheels, of course. Batteries are topped out now. Ready for another day. Right. Um... What's a good way of getting up here? Probably not this way. Two, one, boom. We need to get the power over though. Which 
which we can run from the side of this building, but we can't do that if there's stairs there. But, no, we're going completely a different way. And then we can jiggle about with the power. Uh, fucking berry bushes. Which dickhead put that there? Let's pull these up. Ah, uh, you're not going to be in the way. So if we have a road going here, and then you come out like that. Stair, stair, stair. Platform, stairs. Stairs. There we go. And then this can fuck off. And there you go. That's everything connected. What have I just done? I hit P when I meant to hit space. So, yeah, we've paused these power things. That gives us two guys back. Let's get this made high priority so we can get that population going. Oh, we have our mushroom farms going. Beautiful. Um... Let's get a bit of extra water for our pumping facilities. And I suppose that is the ideal. You just keep making a tower going round and round and round. 192 hours though for 45 mushrooms. That's a long fucking time. Whereas this will give you one canola after five days. So five days is 120 hours. Oh, it's not a long time then. 192 hours. It's not. If you're getting 45, that's a massive amount of food. Still, how many of these do we have? We could probably cut back on farmers. Let's get our first mushroom though before we start doing something silly like that. You are not being built. I have no idea what the beavers have prioritised at the moment. These stairs are kind of important because we can't actually make any metal until we have these going. Or any bad water either, which means no more dynamite. We do have some... Nope, we have no bad water stored. Not point 0.6. I think this reservoir takes half a day to fill up. So, there we go. If we stick that up to maximum, this should be as close to 3 or just under or just over three which means the tide's going to be flowing which means we need to have these guys going it's a lot more labor intensive um so for the folk tales you'll just be doing windmills you won't need people there um i would say same for the farming but i suppose this is equivalent of yeah we've got some flooding going on that should subside in Point one of a day. There you go. We'll stop now. Yeah, I suppose when we get to these, possibly a lot more efficient in farming. Don't know. Oh, did we have more dynamite to explode? No, we didn't. Yep, this is all connected. Beautiful. Let's get rid of that road. And now, somehow we can wangle power out of here. So that's good. Let's get that wood turner, actually.
And we'd want another warehouse for treated planks or treated planks industrial piles. Maybe an industrial pile. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I suppose we could still stick it on top or we could put it over here. Let's do it over here. Uh, right, storage, industrial pile. Only stores 180, but. Yeah. What you gonna do about it, eh? Anity, 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 and how are we going to do this? I don't know. We got any mushrooms yet? No, we haven't. How are our batteries looking? Looking alright. Hmm... Fuck, pine resin. Yeah, we need to get pine resin. That's something we need to think of as well. Okay, so we want to move our forest over, or a forest over here. Well, what we could do is have a whole new lumber system over here somehow. Maybe around here. And then this can be our resin kind of forest. Hmm. Don't know. There is a supply chain we need to follow, though. Still without mushrooms. He could do with another plank turner, but yeah, not for a while. And I don't know if our fermenters are keeping up either. Probably are. Because we can store... 2,400 at least. That's always around the 1,000 mark for the fermented cassavas. Yeah, we're we'll slowly wean them off the cassavas and go for mushrooms and then take it from there. Work towards the food factory eventually. So we would need canola oil... And algae, it looks like algae is the best. If you look at the bottom, it takes 0.25 hours. <laughs> or a quarter of an hour, as it's known. And you get six whatever out of it. And that just needs one algae, one canola oil. So I suppose we will shift over that way. Not yet made canola oil, though. Never done that before, so we do need to do that. As I say, it's just doing it gently so we don't get fucked. We don't suddenly run out of food and then all the beavers starve to death and then it's game over. Planks. Plankety, plankety, plank, plank. That's what we need. Planks and pine resin. Metal source is still good. We are going to need to weevil our way over here. Or over here. This just seems a bit further out of the way. Hmm... How are our batteries holding up? Holding up well. Unconnected building. Okay, you will be connected. Oh, it's all on the planks. We have a plank crunch. That's what's going on. Let's pause this gear factory then. Um, yeah, we're making metal. Not in abundance, but we're making metal, which is good. I think we have our metal storage like somewhere over here, weirdly enough. In fact, do we actually have any metal storage?
We must do. A metal storage. Ah, oh, there it is. No, that's planks. Okay, so this is one lower. It's not, is it? It must be. Because that's a one high building and this is a two high building. All oh, right. Nope, that's a two high building as well. Large warehouse. Ah, right, I've got two things here. Found on metal storage. Huzzah, it's there. Yeah, we can only store 180. Mm, it's alright. Um, was that a stupid thing to do? No, not necessarily. These things should be making planks quickly, though. Why aren't they? I think it's where our haulers is empty. We don't have enough beavers. So they're having to walk out themselves to get the woods, which takes time. Okay, fair enough. But we have our mushroom storage. And how long do we have mushrooms? 73% of the way there. Alright, I think I'm probably going to end the episode here. I know it's not been an hour, but yeah, I've done as much as I can do. It's just a case of standing and watching the iron teeth work. So I'll be back again when we're ready for our next phase of expansion or I don't know. Whenever, I'll be back again soon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe as always. And I'll be back again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>